Nanny from Crokey here and we are at the Nurse Force Conference for Primary Healthcare Nurses in Brisbane and we're just doing a very, very brief little uh, Periscope interview before events start to talk with some of the delegates about why they're here. Starting off first. I'm Sue McInnes, I'm a lecturer at the University of Wollongong and a researcher and I'm presenting a, a, a session around mental health conditions and the role that nurses play in that in general practice and I'm very very excited to be listening and watching all the um, research that's going on in primary health care because we need far more of it we need to expand the roles of um, these nurses and we need to understand the workforce in greater detail. Fantastic what's your main message from your presentation? That nurses have the ability to do more in mental health they are looking at mental health they're, they're seeing these patients every day but they need more education and training. Thank you very much. And for letting me jump on you first. No, thank you, thank you. Next up. I'm Sharon James. I'm from Southern New South Wales. I'm a tutor at the University of Wollongong Vegan Campus. I'm also a PhD candidate through the University of Wollongong. So I'm looking forward to networking and seeing lots of other nurses. I'm also a practice nurse, so I really want to find out what other nurses are doing. So I'm speaking this morning after Sue on how nurses deliver, or what their, their, what their perceptions are on how they deliver lifestyle risk communication. So, and your main, your main message from that? Oh, look, we need to prioritise those discussions, but there are so many structural factors and, I guess, personal professional factors that inhibit that role. We just heard a lot about at the breakfast session about clinical inertia. Is that, is that what you're talking about? A little bit, mm. yeah. But I, I think, you know, there's, there's such a... It's such a broad issue with so many contingent factors such as funding models that come into it. Fantastic, thank you very much. Thank you. And? Hello, my name's Christine Ashley and um, I've just recently completed my doctorate at um, University of Wollongong and uh, I'm a, a nurse with a sort of a varied background where uh, primary healthcare seems to keep becoming part of what I'm doing. I've been doing a fair bit of project work in different areas, so I'm currently doing some work as well for the Southern New South Wales Local Health District. I'm developing some primary health care models for palliative care nurses in bereavement, which wasn't the topic of my PhD, which was more around workforce issues in um, primary health care. So I've come to the conference um, because I always come to it, because it's very much um, my passion and I, um, like my colleagues, are keen to sort of find out what's happening in the research world in primary health care and what's been happening over the last 12 months. Anything in particular you've got your eye on for a session? Um, well, I'm presenting, so um, I'm sort of looking forward to hearing perhaps um, some of the outcomes that I'll be describing from my research, um, perhaps stories from the field about how nurses are transitioning from acute care areas to primary health care. And what was, the, what were you, what was your basic finding with that with your PhD? Oh, there, there were several findings, but I guess um, in a nutshell the important thing is that transitioning um, is, is not um, something that is the same for everybody. It's a very individualised thing, and so um, there have to be sort of tiered approaches to managing the transitioning of nurses to primary health care. We've got to attract them at the sort of national and state level. We've got to have policies and practices in place that encourage people to come to primary health care. But then there also has to be uh, involvement from employers to welcome them and to make it a, a warm environment for them. And um, I guess thirdly, up to the individual nurses, it's important that they come into primary health care for the right reasons. Fantastic. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you. And finally? Hi, I'm Professor Liz Halcombe from the University of Wollongong, Professor of Primary Healthcare Nursing. And I've come along to APNA this year, as I've been for the last 10 years, to share some of the interesting work we're doing at the University of Wollongong around primary healthcare nursing research. What would you like to share in particular? So in particular, I, I guess I'm here to, to support my bunch of PhD students who've done some excellent work over the last 12 months looking at different areas of primary health care, as well as some of the work we've been doing with our local PHN to look at job satisfaction and workforce in primary health care. Any conclusions that you think are really important to this group here? I think the really important thing is that we, we're supporting primary care nurses to be doing their own research. And I think that's really important if we want nurses to have a role in primary health care, they need to be making and generating their own knowledge that we can use to inform our practice. And the constraints on that? I guess the constraints on it are the fact that, that nurses in general practice are often time poor and don't have the resources or the funding. And I guess that's where academics, academic groups like us at University of Wollongong and I know there's groups at other universities can help to support nurses to, to be doing that kind of research. Thank you so very much for doing that very first thing in the morning.